Miss Hampton. I was looking through this awesome cookbook, and I think we should make these cream-filled pecan lace cookies for our math Christmas party. Ooh, those look yummy and fancy. Okay, Let's do it. But this only makes 27 cookies, and I think we're gonna need more than that. So three oh, times that much. Yeah, probably we're gonna need a lot of cookies. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of cookies. So let's triple this recipe. Okay. Okay. So this calls for one third cup of sugar. Okay. Well, I can do a third cup of sugar. Let's see. Third cup. It's good. But we're tripling. We need more cups. Hey guys, it's Ms. Hampton. We're gonna talk about modeling multiplication of fractions today. So something to remember from when we did multiplication before is that multiplication is talking about equal groups. Multiplication is equal groups. So if we have a multiplication problem with a fraction, something like two times one third, what you can think of this meaning is two groups of one-thirds, or two one-thirds. Repeated addition is a great way to go about this. So we're gonna draw a picture. Um, I'm gonna make myself a little square and split it into thirds. We're gonna shade in one-third. This picture represents one-third. My multiplication problem tells me that I need two groups of one third. So I'll draw another picture, another one third. Split this square into one third, into thirds as well. And shade one third. Now we're back to putting unit fractions together. This one third, and this one third together is two thirds. This is the answer to two times one third. You can use repeated addition and these models to solve problems like this. So let's look at one more example. Uh, we'll do more than two groups. We'll do, how about four groups of three-fourths. All right, so in this one, we need to draw a picture. Four times, we need to draw three-fourths. So I'll draw three-fourths one time. two times, three times, four times. And each of these we're gonna shade in one, two, three. So this picture represents three-fourths. Do that four times. have three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. This equals 12 fourths. Now, if you get an improper fraction, remember you need to be able to turn this into a mixed number or sometimes it even turns into a whole number. You can use division to turn this into a mixed number. In this case, you end up with exactly three. So 12 fourths equals three holes. All right, over on your left side, you've got three problems. Draw pictures like we did on the other side and show the addition of, um, the, addition of the fractions, repeated addition, and the answer. If you get something that can be simplified or an improper fraction, be sure that you simplify it or turn it into a mixed number or whole number. What else do we need? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I hope it's baking soda. That's all we have. <laughs> um, 
No. <laughs>